Hello, it's John here for a quick A52 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be in Unreal Engine 4 creating a scrolling text. So this is sort of similar to um, a previous video I've done where we made credits, a credit sequence, but uh, this, like I say, specifically, we're going to do some scrolling text. So what we're going to need, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a text box and we are going to need a horizontal box. And what we're going to want is our text box to be inside of our horizontal box. So this horizontal box is going to form the scrolling area. There you want. Let's let's just make it a bit bigger as well. And our text obviously is going to be the text that we have scrolling about. So let's set it to forty-four. Should we go forty-four? Yeah. Let's go forty-four and. In here, let's have, um, let's be really cheesy and remember to like and subscribe. It helps us a lot. So yeah, if you found this useful, remember, like and subscribe, it helps us a lot. Cool, so as you can see, we have this text that does not quite fit in our box, which is awesome. This is ideal, this is definitely what we want. And what we can do is we're gonna create an animation. So I'm gonna call this scrolling text and hit add. So now if we select this animation, we can tweak parts. So what I'm gonna do is, in fact, before I do that, let's go actually into our text and we'll set it up from this side. So we've got a sort of couple of options here, how or where that all goes. Where we've got like our alignment, which you sort of just saw me press and click earlier. But we've also got this padding, and this is what we're going to play with. So at the left, so I'm going to press this button here, and this is going to add a keyframe, and it's just going to bring all that in there for us and save a bit of time. All right, padding, padding from the left which I'm going to increase, keep going, just keep going, just keep going, until it's outside of our box, which for me, 651. And then over the course of three seconds, which is gonna be really fast, I want it to go all the way across our box. This is gonna be ridiculously fast. But let's rewind and check it out, see if it actually does work. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, we've uh, we've got the smoothing on there, but that's fine. What we want, though, is we want this to loop forever. So here, we're just going to click loop, and let's just get a better sort of look at it, and let's just increase it to four seconds so it's more obvious. And maybe at this point, we'll just bring that about there, and the end point a little bit closer as well. And it should just make it such more readable. All right, remember to like and subscribe, it helps us a lot. And what we've got now is it's constantly scrolling. So we can use this really nicely to like the bottom of our menus and display any helpful tips we want. So, you know, maybe, you know what games like, you know what kind of helpful tips would be on there. Said, you know, for, pressed so-and-so to do so-and-so. And it's just a really sort of nice way of doing it and it's not too taxing, it means we don't have to use other software and it's gonna look good. But remember, to actually get this working, you're going to need to, on event construct, you're going to want to start your animation firing off straight away. So let's just get our animation, bring it in, get. And let's type in play, play animation, and just have this from construct. So in construct, and we can set the number of loops to 100. I don't think we'll ever, anyone's ever gonna sit there past 100. And we've got a couple of options like playback speed, play forward and, and whatnot. That's fine, we don't really need them. What's gonna happen now is when we play, this animation is gonna start and we're gonna have this scrolling text. Now, that's cool. I really like that. We could even have, oops, the Things just peeking in a little bit. We could even go a bit further than this and inside our text, if we were to bind this and create a binding for this 
um, we could like have different things. So do you know you could have a, like a series of like you know different texts. So like you know press so and so to do this. Did you know you can do this? Did you know you can do that? And then you know, you could in theory play with those and at different points at different points of the game have that change have the text change and it you know show and create different things but yeah there you go quite a quick simple one let me remove binding quite a quick simple one on that one we have got scrolling text i remember guys if you like this video if you find it useful hit that subscribe button or hit the like button even leave a comment it helps us a lot and yeah thanks for watching